Here's a look right now at temperatures around the region. All of us in, well, almost all of us in single digits. Denora and Wheeling at 10. Bedford's at 11. Everybody else below that, down as low as Indiana at 1 degree, and Butler and Catanning at 2 apiece. It is getting cold out there, folks. Fortunately, winds are light, so wind chill is not much of a factor. As you take a look, 8 degrees at the airport right now with 83% humidity. The wind's just 3 miles an hour out of the northwest, and the dew point is at 4 degrees. That gives you an idea of what the floor for tonight's overnight low will be somewhere around 2 to 4 degrees for most of us, I do believe. Some of you may see zero, might even dip below zero in some of the higher elevations to our east, but right now it's looking like most of us will end up between 2 and 4 degrees for the overnight low. And then tomorrow we really don't do any better than we did today with highs expected to just get back into the mid-teens before dipping once again back in the single digits tomorrow night. Here's your 12-hour radar satellite loop, and on it you can see the light snow showers that we had earlier today, long gone now, no flurries. The lake itself is almost completely frozen over, so lake effect is not in effect as a result of that. And high pressure or ridge of it building in to the region, what that will do for us tomorrow, while it's making things very chilly tonight with a northwesterly flow, it's also going to give us a lots, uh, lots of sunshine tomorrow. Look at this on Futurecast. Hardly a cloud in sight right up through the noon hour. And then as we head into the evening hours tomorrow night, things stay clear. But by Monday, it starts to get a little dicey. Clouds build in. Snow showers arrive in the afternoon hours and continue right overnight or into the early overnight hours Tuesday. This is midnight now, Monday night, early Tuesday. And we've still got light snow in the area. It will stick around and bring us something on the order of an inch to an inch and a half, as you can see in most locations. Now you get out to the east, and this is Tuesday morning at midnight. Nothing going on except just a coating in the higher elevations to our east, but maybe an inch and a half in Pittsburgh, Beaver Falls, and Butler with an inch and a quarter possible in Newcastle. Partly cloudy, frigid temperatures tonight. Our overnight low between 1 and 3 degrees. Higher elevations a little cooler than that, but again, wind chill not a factor because winds are light tonight. Then tomorrow, bitter cold, partly cloudy. That'll be the game time temperature for the Steelers, 16 degrees. That's all we'll do for our high tomorrow. At least it'll be a dry game and there'll be plenty of sunshine. It just won't do much for our temperatures. 22 then on Monday with snow showers arriving in the afternoon, tapering the flurries on Tuesday. Accumulation, Paul, will be minor. An inch and a half, as I showed you, maybe two in one or two spots on Monday. And then Wednesday, just bitter cold with a high of 15 degrees. Thursday, a little bit of moderation. Friday, some more back to normal. And then finally, above normal temperature-wise with a gorgeous start to the weekend and a high in the mid-40s on Saturday. That looks very familiar. What's that? The cold? That week, yeah, yeah. It was like a week ago we had the same thing. I say bring on next Saturday, please. All right.